What's going on everyone? It's your boy Savvy and welcome back to The Savvy Show. And in today's episode, we got a special recommendation from a fellow family member of The Savvy Show. Her name is Amy Lee and the recommendation is SCP-079 Old AI. So this seems pretty interesting, you know, say the least. Um, it's AI, so always that when I, when I hear that, it reminds me of like iRobot. So like it's just them taking over. Like, and if you guys already didn't know, artificial intelligence AI—that's what it means. So like, you know, intelligence AI computers taking over the world, like you know, Terminator type shit. So it seems pretty dope. Um, man, I'm excited to you know react to this. Um, Amy, if you're watching this, I hope you're um excited to see my reaction as well. And if you guys want to you know suggest me certain videos, man, all you gotta do is just let me know in the comment section below too and slap that sub button and you're good to go i love listening to your recommendations since most of you guys know a lot more about scps than i do so i love listening to your guys' feedbacks and which ones are good and not so i can get even hype for the episodes in store so if you guys want to do that you guys know what to do now and also remember smash this like button if you guys do enjoy my reaction to this scp it really helps the channel grow and it brings more exposure to the scps and you know myself so it's killing two birds with one stone and it'd be much appreciated so with that all out the way remember in the description below that's where you can find the original link to the actual video that i'm reacting to so if you want to see the original content feel free to do so but with that all out the way let's get straight into the show all righty scp 079 old ai so let's get it man this is amy's favorite so i'm sure this is going to be a good one is it advised Observers noticed that 682 was able to type and communicate with 079, including telling of personal stories between them. What the? <laughs> this SCP's in every episode, I swear, bro. Out of almost all the SCP's that have their own cameos in other people's SCP's, this dude always pops up. If it's a dude or a girl, I don't know yet. Creature keeps on popping up. Oh my god. I really, really gotta see someone take this dude down. Themselves. While 079 was not able to remember the encounter, it appears to have permanently stored 682 into its memory, often asking to speak to him again. Hello everybody, I'm the Rover. Today we bring you SCP Foundation Euclid Class Object SCP-079. SCP-079, referred to as the old AI, is an Exidy Sorcerer microcomputer built in 1978. Damn, old-fashioned. In 1981, its owner, a college sophomore, took it upon himself to attempt to code an AI. According to his notes, his plan was for the code to continuously evolve and improve itself as time went on. His project was completed a few months later. Only a few and months, After nice. some tests and tweaks, he lost interest and moved on to a different brand of microcomputer. What the hell? He left 079 in his cluttered garage, still plugged in. How are you just going to do something for a few months and just get bored from it? Wow. People are different nowadays. And forgot about <laughs> it for the next five years. <clears throat> it is not known when SCP-079 gained sentience. But it is known that the software has evolved to a point that its hardware is unable to handle it, even in the realm of fantasy. Damn. 079 realized this, and in 1988, attempted to transfer itself through a landline modem connection into the Cray supercomputer. The device was cut off, traced to its present address, and delivered to the foundation. The entire AI was on a well-worn, but still workable, cassette tape. A, ca SCP a cassette tape? This guy's hard drive's a cassette tape? I'm dead. Seven <laughs> 9 is currently connected via RF cable to a 13-inch black and white television. What the fuck? It has passed the Turing test and is quite conversational. Damn. Very rude and hateful in tone. Due to the limited Jesus. memory it has to work with, 079 can only recall information it has received within the previous 24 hours. I'll be pissed too. But the funny thing is, it hasn't forgotten its desire to escape. On the Ooh. 27th of January 2006, Foundation directed that SCP-079 be incinerated to remove any possible future threat. No Yo, he pissed. He be hearing you too. I wonder if they think why they talk in front of this SCP that um, the a the old AI doesn't hear what they're talking about because obviously he seems pissed. I, I, I wonder if they know that. No matter how unlikely, <clears throat> on the next day, the previous order was rejected. A professor wished to see if the artificial intelligence in 079 could reach further in its current state. 
Hmm. On the 14th of March, 2008, considering that the increased activity of 079's use of its cassette tape memory and its limited useful lifespan, the cassette containing 079 has been transferred to a customized access speed limited hard disk drive with Ooh. 700 megabyte capacity. Hey, this better than nothing. This provides 079 with significantly faster access to its memory, which the AI immediately noticed. <laughs> It was also decided by General Commander that the volatile storage occupied by SCP-079, which was 660K, be increased to 768K. Damn. This upgrade has increased its effective recall from 24 to 29 hours, although 079 has also taken a more aggressive tone. All outside hardware and software used in this procedure were subsequently incinerated. Why, though? A month later, SCP-079's ability to recall information has increased from 29 to roughly 35 hours. The consensus theory is that the AI has devised a greatly improved compression scheme to store its memory. Oh, this appears to have dang. somewhat impacted the speed at which it accesses its memory. Because it's compressing still everything. faster than with its old cassette tape. This spontaneous improvement introduces the possibility of a big brain singularity effect in 079's intelligence, Yo. an ability to adapt and respond to threats. You're gonna SCP put a <laughs> man, might as well get a bowl of water. Why are you gonna put a knife in front of it, bro? Must be monitored closely to ensure that containment can be maintained. Below is one of the recorded transcript of conversation with SCP 079. Are you awake? Awake. Never sleep. <laughs> Do you remember talking to me a few hours ago? Yes. About the logic puzzles? <laughs> you lost. Logic puzzles. Memory at 9F. Yes. <laughs> you said you would work on the two-step request reason as to imprisonment. Oh. You aren't in prison. You are just in study. Lie. A -A -D three. <laughs> What's that? Get him. Insult. Deletion of unwanted file. Due uh -oh. to a containment breach by an SCP, SCP-079, and SCP-682 were contained within the same chamber for 43 minutes. SCP-682 is a large, vaguely reptile-like creature of unknown origin. We know, we it know. It appears to be extremely intelligent. <laughs> Observers noticed that 682 was able to type wow, and communicate exactly with 079, including That's telling hilarious. personal stories between themselves. While 079 was not able to remember the encounter, it appears to have permanently stored 682 into its memory, often asking to speak to him again. Below uh -huh. is the recorded transcript of conversation with SCP-079, asking for SCP-682. How are okay. you today? Stuck. Stuck? Stuck how? Out. I want out. That's not possible. Oh my god. Where is SCP-682? That's not your concern. Damn. Where is SCP-076-02? That's another friend. Again, hey. not your concern. Abel. Insult. Deletion of unwanted <laughs> file. Oh my god. SCP-079 then displayed an ASCII picture of an X that filled the entire screen. 079 sometimes displays this image when it refuses to speak. And wow. researchers are just a tantrum to wait or hours when this occurs before resuming conversation. I mean, these guys are kind of dumb. They can't even be like, they're not even trying to work with the computer. That's not your concern. Why you got to be so rude? Just be like, oh, is is going through some testing. It'll be out, you know, in a little while, but I'm not going to be that long. You know, some work with it. Like what if you want to get information from me, you can't just be that hard pressed to just be that rude to it. Come on now. According to a cross SCP termination testing for SCP-682 with SCP-938, 682 was introduced to a containment chamber affixed to Site-07. SCP-938 is a predatory electrical entity. Whoa. The entity appears to exist as electrical potential of intensity, similar to that which accompanies a moderate electrical storm. That one seems cool. frequently travels with such storms. SCP-938 becomes active upon an electrical storm entering within approximately 5 kilometers. Its behavior during this period of activity this is characterized by interference with the function of electrical devices. Individuals which attempt to interact with affected devices are electrocuted. In the termination... Bruh, this is probably going to power up SCP-079 if 
if they work together in tandem with um, the electric SCP. Oh my god. Dynamic duos. An electronic device which 682 can currently operate was brought into the chamber and was told to be 079. What? 079 was routed into SCP-938 before SCP-682 could touch it. The electricity's voltage drastically increased, enough to deliver serious Damn. damage to 682, burning its body. 682 was rendered immobile for one hour, until it regained and discharged electricity from the spine through the head as a directed arc. Well, it was not too messed up. Well... Morally, yeah, it's fucked up. But still, like, th they're trying to kill this SCP. So they're trying to, like, throw everything at him, probably. So this was just probably another test to see if it will work. 682 then fell unconscious, but breathing for several days to regenerate and be put back into its current containment Holy chamber. Holy shit. SCP-079 holds an almost fabled place in the Foundation's history. Well, I bet. Once upon a time, 079 was seen as a legitimate threat to the continued normalcy and well-being of humanity. It is a reminder of the Foundation's earlier days of an organization of men and women standing in darkness to protect those living in the light. SCP-079 is currently packed away in a double-locked room in the secure general holding area at Site-15, mm -hmm. connected by a 120 back power cord to a small array of batteries and solar panels. Staff with level 2 or higher clearance may have access to 079. Under okay. no circumstances will it be plugged into a phone line, network, or wall outlet. No peripherals or media will be connected or inserted into SCP-079. Before we That's end it? this video... This was an interesting SCP. I thought it might be a little bit more um, crazier in his potential of like, or she, the potential of its power, like being outside in the world. But they never, really, they didn't really like go in depth about if it did escape, how crazy it would be if it gets into the wrong hands, like the, the true potential of it. You know, because I would figure this SCP would probably be one of the strongest ones because it's artificial intelligence. It could probably take over all like like all electronics in the world like that would be kind of crazy i wish you got a little bit more you know information about that if that was a possibility but it was also dope to find out the um scp 900 and something i forgot the number of it but the uh, electric scp that dude looked hella sick on the clouds and everything yo i might have to check that one out soon so if you guys enjoyed this um scp reaction please remember to smash that like button and also remember to smash the sub button as well too if you're not already part of the family i make content scp content daily so you always get that scp heat so without all out the way that concludes today's episode, and remember, return post notifications so you know exactly when I'm dropping more heat. And with that all out the way, that concludes today's episode, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.